Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Welcome to Wednesday night premiere. I'm so sorry I was not able to go live tonight. So I created this fun premiere for you guys, which is the closest thing to live that I could do at this exact time. Um, I will be down in the comments with you watching and enjoying the show, which is sometimes kind of nice and relaxing. Of course, next Wednesday we'll resume paint night um, you know, live as normal. So what we're going to do today is one of my favorite color combinations. I am using my Loli Vefe bowl. Oh, there it is. Um, and it does have a little bit of wet white and gold in there. That's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and use that. For those of you who don't know, this is a silicone bowl and, um, you can reuse it over and over, which I do. So, Everybody, let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm not going to say where I am right now because it's a secret. But, yeah, let me know where you guys are watching from. It's always fun to see where everyone's watching from across the world. So we're going to be using white with a darker blue I made here with, um, this is kind of like a dark teal, really. Um, and then I'm going to use orange. So the orange and blue together is like one of my favorite weird color combinations. I'm also going to throw some of this in here. This is the color shift. Um, doo -doo -doo, it's a black flash. Yeah, black flash seemed like a good idea. We'll find out. Just going to put a little bit. So that'll kind of act as my dark contrast color. Here's the orange. One second, you guys. I actually need to add a little more water to the orange somehow. I don't know how that got thick. But um, while I'm mixing this. How is everyone's week going? Um, I'm recording this ahead of time, so I'm just going to assume I'm having a great time. <laughs> I'll let you know down in the comments. Kitten is doing much better, you guys. Much, much, much better. She's virtually fully recovered. So now I'm just kind of, um, you know, making sure she gets some probiotics and gets back up to full, full health. But she'll be fine. I'm not worried. Okay. I've got the orange all mixed up. And guys, don't forget to thumbs up and also feel free to super chat. So super chat is, um, it's like a virtual tip jar and it actually really, really helps me continue what I'm doing and continue to make these videos without, of course, having the issue of, oh my gosh, how am I going to get more money for art supplies and, you know, do I have to go get a job? <laughs> um, this is my job. And you guys doing things like Super Chat and PayPal donations really, really helps with that. I'm going to go with a little more white. I still have not measured how much paint fits in these little bowls, which I really should do. But I really want to make sure I have enough. Okay, I think that's good. Um, the technique I'm going to do, I've been doing, of course, a lot of really fun ones. Um, but we're going to do... The Recca Ring one, which I thought would be really great with this color combination. So already, look at that, guys. It looks gorgeous. All right, I'm going to take, I'm going to use the back of one of these sticks. All right. So let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite acrylic pour technique? Mine definitely changes over time. It was the tree ring. I now think that this this one um, I saw on Molly's artistry channel. And I think it is my new favorite technique. I am slightly addicted to doing this. And I like to kind of try to do some different patterns. There's no rules to it. You can swipe through whichever way you want. And I'm going to go ahead and tilt. I definitely like to not overdo it. Like I only like to do maybe three or four swipe throughs. I think that's sufficient. Oh, so pretty. I kind of actually wish I had used a little bit more orange. It seemed like I put a lot in the cup, but that's okay. It's still awesome. I, I just, this is like one, like I said, my favorite weird color combination. You know, like, it's normal to use, like, purple and blue together or whatever. 
but this isn't as common of a color combination and it is so awesome every time. That blue, I think, well, there is a little metallic in this from the uh, color shift paint and also the blue might have had some metallic paint in there as well. My daughter mixed it up, so who knows what she put in there. Okay, this is super cool. Let me know what do you guys think. I'm going to let this sit here for a bit as usual. Um, so you won't see the time lapse in real time, but I will be right back and we'll do our close up. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I know that was like no time lapsed for you, but Definitely, definitely got some cell action in here. I kind of wish there was a little bit less, but that's okay. I'm not mad at it. I'm still happy. Let's go ahead and do our close up. So lower right hand corner. You can see how great those colors look together. Up to the upper right hand corner. We did get great lines, just a lot of cells popping through. Ooh, I think this is my favorite section, upper left hand corner. And then down to the lower left hand corner. There we go. Whoops, a little out of focus there, sorry. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And just as a little pro tip, this is something I've noticed over the years of doing acrylic pours, is that when I mix my white paint right before the video, uh, which means I'm shaking it in my bottle and mixing it up, is when I get a lot of these white dots because I think the air just hasn't had time. So I generally try to pre-mix my colors like a day before I actually plan to use them. And usually my bottles are all full. I've just done a lot of painting today, so <laughs> I ran out of white. So just as a tip, that's probably causing some of this. But anyways, thank you guys so, 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 so much for joining me. I really appreciate that you take time out of every Wednesday to join me and you know spend time with me as part of my family and i will see you back next wednesday for the regular live so see you guys later